Welcome. Well, what I like to do is show you how to graph this linear equation that's in slope-intercept form. And I love this equation because we see 7 thirds, and we're like, ah, that's not a nice fraction. You know, How is this going to help us graph it? But the nice thing about graphing slope-intercept form is it doesn't really matter what the fraction is. That's just going to, I mean, that's just, or when our fraction is our slope, that actually just helps us out. And it's just going to be our rate of change between any two points. So again, let's kind of go through, again, the components that we need for slope-intercept form. We first need to identify what the y-intercept is, which is 11, and then what the slope is, which is negative 7 thirds. So I'm just going to rewrite these. Slope, which is equal to a negative 7 thirds. And then the y-intercept, I always like to write as a coordinate point, which is 0, 11. Because remember, we're going to be plotting that y-intercept. So it's very important for us to know um, where that's going to be. So I have my y-axis. And then my x-axis. And then I'll go to the point 0, 11. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. All right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, OK, so now what I need to do is I need to create uh, my next point. And remember, the slope tells us the rate of change between any two points on your graph. And you can see my slope is a negative 7 thirds. So please note that negative 7 thirds can be written right as a negative 7 over 3 or a 7 over negative 3. It doesn't really matter either way. Since my graph is already so tall, I'm going to want to use the rate of change where my uh, change in y is going down negative. So I'm going to use this as my slope. Even though this is fine, you could go up 7 to the left 3. It's the same thing. So now I'm just going to go, my cha change in y is negative 7. So I'll go down 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And then my change in x is positive 3. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 over 3. 1, 2, 3. Therefore, I'll connect those two points going down. And now I've graphed my linear equation. Thanks.